guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Optimus coming with another video review. And today, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Sideshow Collect 1-6 scale deluxe Shiny the Clone Trooper. It's a very nice, very simple package with a nice image of the figure here in the front. See, it says 1-6 scale, it's Clone Trooper Deluxe Shiny. Uh, the reason why it's called Shiny is because these are Clone Troopers that are freshly engineered, I guess. Uh, you do get two different masks with it. You get the Phase 1 that you can kind of see here, and the Phase 2. Now, I'm probably, at some point in time, going to accidentally call him a Stormtrooper. Uh, for me, uh, Clone Troopers... There's no explanation in the, at least as far as I can remember, in the in the movies of them becoming stormtroopers. For me, they were stormtroopers in the last three, and then we're introduced to them in the first three, and they're, we see that they're clones. So going from episode three to four, it just makes sense to me that they're still clones. Uh, now, I know when you watch Clone Wars, it's been explained to me that there is an explanation between it, or that, that says that in the, in the following, or in the last three movies, that they're actually just regular people, not necessarily clones, but as I said, I've only really watched the movie, so since it's not explaining the movies, I'm probably going to call them Stormtroopers. So, uh, for me, the this mask right here looks like a very Stormtrooper mask. Maybe a, a little bit early of one, but it's Stormtrooper nonetheless. Then you can open it. It is on a nice magnet right here that you flip open. And it says Star Wars Clone Trooper, and then you have all the accessories on the inside here. And this guy does come with a ton of stuff. Uh, it is one of the deluxe figures from Sideshow, so that basically means it comes with a lot. So without further ado, there's the packaging. Let's get this guy open and see how cool he actually is. All right, guys, so here we have Shiny <laughs> opened up and out of its packaging. And starting off first, like I always do, we're going to take a look at his accessories. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a lot here. So starting off first, in addition to his regular feet that you can see on his body, uh, he does come with two additional feet that give him a, a more walking pose, I suppose. So you do have those, which is pretty actually nice to see. Uh, it's, it's simple, but it allows for even more poses, I, I suppose. Uh, you do have his adjustable cradle stand. Uh, you get this going here, peg that in there, and you have that. And like I said, this adjusts up and down, adjusts as Star Wars, as well as Lucasfilm and all that stuff, setting that there. Uh, as I mentioned, he does come with both a Phase 1 and Phase 2 helmet. This is the Phase 2, and like I said, this is more reminiscent of the, the Stormtrooper look. Uh, which I personally like. It's it's more what I I guess grew up with. I should I should say, but that that's just because I, I grew up with the original trilogy of Star Wars movies, episodes four, five, and six. Uh, you come around here to the body, and you can see that it is just hollow on the inside with the uh, the connector peg there. But really nice, and I'll show the, the phase one off here in a little bit. Uh, it does come with a very nice uh, backpack that has a has some magnets in here, which I'll show here in a little bit, which is really cool. Uh, you do have a a cloth uh, opening that you can store things down there. Uh, it, it really is your personal preference what you want to put in there it's uh it, it, I, I guess you could maybe slot like a gun or something in there uh, or if you really wanted to he does come with four droid popper grenades uh, that uh have a really nice metallic paint and then there's a little bit of blue on there i don't exactly know why but kind of zooming in so that you can see that really nice detail on there it's uh very simple like i said it's just a little hand grenade and then you can see that this side and, and all of them have this have, have a little bit of a blue paint on there I, I don't exactly know why and like i said you get four of them that if you want to you could put those in there too i guess it's personal preference i guess uh, i i personally like the fact that you can just stuff whatever you want in there and the the cloth you can actually get that to sort of move around and make it look a little bit more realistic so i, I really do dig that uh he does come with this th this is more of a handgun you can swap this around in the back and this is kind of like a stabilizer here for his shoulder this is just the, uh, a regular blaster but really nice paint wash on here you got a very nice rub that's all all the way throughout it as long as i don't drop it a uh, very nice looking gun as well now he does come with two additional guns comes with a very long range uh, rifle this this thing is it's absolutely massive i mean it's almost as tall as he is 
and that same very nice silver wash paint is applied to this as well he's got this little arrow here uh, but absolutely gorgeous gun like i said this is more of a rifle that you would see maybe using to shoot down an aircraft or something like that it, it just has that feel to it but really nice there as well and then he also does have a rotary blaster, which has a really nice paint job as well on here. It is a much bluer paint. It doesn't have as much of the silver wash. It's very clean, but I really dig it. You can see some nice gold paint details on the inside there, as well as here. Uh, it doesn't rotate or anything like that, but you have him holding that there then holding it there and shooting from the hip so really nice and i love the fact that all these weapons are included it just really goes to i guess show that he's a trooper and he is armed and ready for battle now in addition to all those weapons you also get a total of 13 hands you got two close grips you got one here that's more designed to actually uh, hold a gun with the fingers posed in that way. You have another one that has uh, a trigger finger kind of thing going on here. Another one where he's just pointing like, go, go that way, go over there, do something like that. Uh, you have a two like, we're going this way, that way, something, you guys go over there. That's bad impressions. Uh, you got another gun or handgun that's, uh, well, it's the opposite side. It should be over on this side. Uh, well, well, vice versa, I should say. Put that over there. Uh, another uh, hand, though, that is used for the trigger purpose. Uh, you have a more wide open hand. Gives you a little bit more a range of uh, like holding something, I guess, or uh, cupping it on one end, I guess, something like that. You got another one where he would be saluting. And then we come over, oh, well, no, we still got another uh, left hand where he's doing the thumbs up. He definitely appears to be a left-handed guy. You get more left hands than you do right. You get a total of eight left hands and only five right hands. So, again, you got the trigger finger. You have the more wide open kind of cupping sort of hand. A much heavier grip, which you would imagine he would... Uh, maybe use uh, to really get a grip on something. It's it's really contorted and it looks very powerful for the grip. And then another saluting hand. And those are all of his accessories. Uh, a, a lot of them are just hands, but the, the guns especially are really very impressive. They're very big and very powerful feeling. And coming to the figure himself, you can see with all the extra hands and the different feet, in addition to all the extra weapons you get, you can get some really cool dynamic poses with him. Now, he does require a little bit of finagling to get him to stand properly, but this looks great. And if you have any problems, again, you do have the adjustable cradle that you can use to help prop him up. But the figure is outstanding looking. Now, getting these, uh, the, the weapon, or his, uh, his rotary gun out of the way uh, and taking a look at the actual figure. Uh, I guess if, if you did want to swap out the feet, they are just pegged in just like all the other ones. I love how Sideshow includes the additional pegs uh, that actually plug in so you have all the ones that you would need. So it's very easy to swap things out and then just got to futz with this a little bit, get the uh, actual outfit looking proper on him. I mean, this this guy looks terrific. And the thing that's amazing that I absolutely love is that the price on here is wonderful. At only $140, this really is priced, in my opinion, to army build. And you can't have just one clone trooper. I mean, you need multiples. And with all the different accessories that you get, you can really have three different figures holding three different weapons and just the the different display options are almost endless. I mean, taking a look at the figure itself, really wonderful. Now, like I said, this is the phase one helmet. You do got the phase two, and I'll pop that on here in a second, but really very sharp looking. I absolutely dig it. Uh, the armor is a very clean armor, as you would expect, because it was just released from the, the genetic tube, I guess. You got some really nice detail on the back. The belt is a separate piece. Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if you can actually unpeg it. Kind of looks like you can, but I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, underneath the armor is a cloth. It's kind of suit. It is really an interesting sort of material. It's very uh, ribbed, I guess. Uh, so it gives a very nice texture. To remove the head, you just pop it off. It's on a ball joint. Then you take the new one and line that up. 
and pop that in there. Uh, I mean, it's it really is that simple, but when you do it, it gives a, comp a completely different look and has much more of that actual Stormtrooper look, I think. Uh, so it is, again, a personal preference, what you wanna do for your display. And with all these different options, including like, for example, the backpack, you can really just have a wonderful time displaying this and get a whole army of these guys. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you get a nice range of motion of moving this off. You, you, the ball joint's up there, and then it also does have a neck joint so that you can actually, I wanted to show you guys that as well. The shoulders move forward and back. They move up and down. This little piece right here is on a, a little bit of a softer rubber, so you can position it up, and that's not going to hinder it. Uh, moves forward and back. It rotates at the upper part of the actual bicep. Has uh, two points here at the elbow. The wrists move all the way around. They move forward, back, all that. It does rotate rotate at the torso but you kind of have to lift this to get his uh ab crunch to, to work and then when you want to put it back down you just sort of slot the armor back over to give a, a full look uh, but it does rotate and everything like so uh, the hips move forward and back they move in and out they rotate at the upper part of the thigh they have two joints here at the knee and then again the ankles have the the little ball pin thingamajigger so you get a full range of motion with that it, it's absolutely phenomenal I, I really do dig it like i said all the different options for for posing and display just is absolutely one of the best characteristics for this. As I said, this is an army building type of figure. And having the price be fairly reasonable in, in that respect uh, allows collectors to get a bunch of these. And I think that that is really one of the best ways. If you're gonna if you're gonna have a Star Wars display, you need to have a couple of these. That I mean, I, I really do believe that. Uh, putting this uh, cloth thing pegged back on here. Like I said, you do get the backpack that just come over you slip it over his shoulders. Uh, it's a little bit tricky to do. It's not too hard, but you do have to finagle the arms around. Get that up and in. Here we go. And you can see that uh, the armor does get in the way a little bit, but it's not bad. It's just play with it some. It's not bad. Uh, but then you can see right away, it does have a magnetic grip on there. So the shoulder piece there, the, the straps really aren't even holding it on. You have that that's holding it on. And that just really completes a look as well. So simply, simply stunning. And then you can have him hold his big giant rifle and again you can create a completely different look for this guy all of them are clones so they're all going to be wearing the same outfit so it really just depends on how you want to accessorize them to differentiate them but this guy is terrific now bottom line is no star wars collection is complete without having several clone troopers in it and this is definitely a great way to add to that. As I said, only $140, this really is priced perfectly to army build. In addition to all the accessories that you get from the weapons to the hands to the different head sculpts that you can use, this really is a very versatile piece that can allow a collector to display multiple of the exact same figure differently and look great in a display. I'm actually really proud of myself because I haven't called this a Stormtrooper, I don't think, once in this video. But as I said, you do get a very nice Stormtrooper looking helmet as well as a more, I guess, Clone Wars helmet. So it also appeals nicely to collectors who may like the original trilogy more than the prequels. So it really does have a very wide range of appeal to different collectors. And I really do think that that price is wonderful. So if you are interested in picking this guy up, go ahead and click on the link down in the video description. You'll go to Sideshow Collectibles where this guy's in stock and you can add in your collection today. But beyond that, that's about it, guys. So once again, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been Optobotomous. Keep in touch with me. Find out recent purchases as well as all upcoming video reviews all at Facebook.com slash TeamBotomous and by following me over on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Optobotomous. Also, don't forget to check out my new website at OptobotomousReviews.com. And if you like this review, don't forget to please rate, subscribe, and share this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.